for a second. I think I'll keep. Hi, can I please get a medium coffee, one milk, two sugar? Medium coffee, one milk, two sugar, anything else? Uh, I have a roll up the rim for that, and can I just get a chocolate glazed donut as well? Do you have that everything? Yeah, that's all. Okay, go ahead and drink, please. Thanks. Got the coffee here. Tis the season for roll up the rim. Heading over to Garrett's place. Let's go check out that winter warrior build Subaru GF8. In the garage with Guy, we got the uh, Winter Warrior build going on right now. We've been looking for the bolts for the past 10 minutes because someone forgot to organize bolts and bags. Anyways, we got enough to get our bolts and nuts to get the interior bolts, uh, the interior bar into the car today. So hopefully we will get the steering column bolted up to the interior crash bar. There's a couple more things that need to be done. As you can see, the motor is missing. The steering rack underneath the car also has to be changed out, which I have the one from when I did my car. The steering racks are the same, so they're interchangeable, so we're just gonna take that one and throw it on to his car. Uh, so I'm gonna start working on getting the interior crash bar in, and then most likely get the steering column bolted up, and see what we can do from there. Let's get it going, Guy. All right, so to get the interior crash bar in, it's like, four nuts and maybe like three or four uh, bolts so it's uh, just two on this side right here and then we're gonna have like four right over here one two three and there's the fourth one so it just gets mounted right across so there's one mounting point right there the other mounting point right there so let's get that in for you right. and she's in just like I told you guys, just two little bolts here. And then we got two bolts here, two nuts there. She's in, now we're gonna get the steering column bolted up. Car is starting to come together. Let's get her going. Got Master G putting in some work. He wants me to hold up the steering wheel and dangle my wiener over his head. Go ahead, do all your best. Demonetize. Demonetize. <laughs> okay, so the interior crash bar is in. Steering rack is in. There's the bar. There's the steering column right there. Now we're working on getting these wires. Uh, like we're gonna make these wires a little bit longer. So this plug right here is supposed to come all the way and plug up here, but as you can see, it's too short. So I'm just gonna. We have a bunch of spare wires over here in that box right there. So I'm just gonna find the right size uh, wire because. There's three wires in here that are the same size and one that is a little bit different. So I found three of them are the same size and one is a little bit thicker to match the other one. Because if you go with a smaller wire to a bigger wire, there's a chance that you will uh, start a fire. Like if you're running a lot of electricity through a thick wire and you want it to go through a small one, it won't go. It'll actually start a fire. So I made sure to find the right size wires. I'm just gonna cut those up, splice them in there and hook up the sensor. All right, so we got our wires here. One, two, three, and four. They're snipped. It's just expose the copper there. And then outside the car, we've got the clip that I cut off. So here's the clip right here. Also, all four exposed. And then I have my four. Then I have my four wires here, also exposed. So I'm just extending the wires so that we can get the plug in. Wires have been spliced. Plug is plugged in. Let's check it out. Let's go get the light on that. Plug is in. I know that the wires that I did get to extend them don't match the same color, but as long as these up at the top are matching the ones on the end, then we're good. Plugs in. She's good to go. Is that it for today? I think so. I was a little bit late to get the 
gun going so we can't take off the sticky bolts at the bottom of the steering rack so yeah i think that's it for now i gotta go look for some nuts it's fine we need some nuts up here we need one over here we need one right there and we need another one on the bottom down there so just before we put the actual dash in i just want to get all of everything up here obviously solved so that the dash can go and we don't have to take it back out to figure out something um, all of the harness is pretty much plugged in. You do still have to pick up what? You have to pick up the rad. Yeah, rad, uh, full exhaust from like downpipe all the way back. Uh, I gotta do the fuel pump. We're probably gonna go with the Wally 255. Um, just cause it gives you a little bit more room to upgrade your turbo and injectors and it's, everyone loves it. I haven't heard much wrong about it other than a bunch of fake ones being produced, but like, whatever. I'll buy a legit one. Um, I think that's pretty much it with the car parts wise obviously like i'm gonna do hoses and stuff because some of them are snipped we're probably gonna have to splice more wires like especially with the fuel pump because jdm to usdm and all that shit's a fucking mess uh, we do have a chart but like we kind of made that chart uh before we knew about the whole harness merging thing because not gonna lie when I first bought this car, I had no idea that like the harness version stuff was a thing because I saw I saw <laughs> I saw Chubbs do like the STI swap and it didn't really it's not like it looked like a breeze but he didn't mention anything about like difficulties with the harness and I thought with Subarus it was all the same and like going to a turbo motor wasn't that like difficult but it's totally different like this has been like a really big learning experience we still got a lot more to go um, but yeah, like the motor, we're not really worrying about the motor too much uh, right now. I want to get pretty much the whole dash and everything back done. Because the motor, you can literally get done and up and running in possibly a weekend if you have everything ready, right? So, it's not that big of a deal. So, the plan is figure out the wiring, get the motor in the car. Oh, wow, no! Nice. Oh, what's that? I just erected a turbo timer. <laughs> HPS sponsorship. So one other thing that we didn't get to today was the steering rack, but that's just because you don't want to fire up the compressor because his parents are sleeping and it's like, what, 12 o'clock at night and right how, now. How many times have we gotten noise complaints in the house? <laughs> yeah, literally constant noise complaints because the loud cars and we're always working on the garage. So we're going to wait uh, maybe until, maybe tomorrow I can come by whenever it's daytime and we can actually fire up some noise just because we have to get the tie rods out. Uh, right down here and then drop the steering rack and then get the other one which is right back there bring it in and pop it back in there and then the steering rack is in then we can bolt up the column which is right here and then slowly but surely get everything else finished and drop the motor in turn the key and turn get it fired up that's one it day. yeah turn key swap right turn key swap one day <laughs> Whenever that day will come, I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty much it for today, guys. We did get a little bit done, not a lot done, but every little bit counts. So I'm happy I came here. That's it for the GFA for today. Until next time, guys. Wait,